OK, we, we will already have some basic formula for derivative. Uh, now we derive some uh, now we derive some differentiation rules for uh, sub uh, addition, subtraction, multiplications, and divisions of two functions. The rule say, says that The first rule that is if a function multiply by a constant, then take the derivative. The constant can be moved outside the derivative. The second is the addition or subtraction, the derivative of addition and subtraction. That we can take the derivative separately, then add them together. The third is that multiplications fx times gx and take the derivative. Then the, it equals the derivative of first, first function times the second function plus the first function times the, sec the derivative of second function. This calls the product rule. And the fourth, fx over gx, and take the derivative. That is, that is a derivative of denominator times the denominator minus the denominator times the derivative of denominator over the square of the denominator. This calls quotient rule. Now we prove those rules. The first one, c f x, the derivative of c f x, uh, use the definition of derivative, that is lambda h tends to zero. c f x plus h minus c times fx over h. The common factor c can be taken outside. That is fx plus h minus fx over h. So the limit is actually the derivative of fx. So that is c times the derivative of fx. That's the first rule. The second fx plus or minus gx and take the derivative that is lambda h tends to zero fx plus h plus or minus gx plus h minus fx plus or minus gx over h. We separate in two, uh, separate this uh, fraction in two fractions. That is fx plus h minus fx over h plus or minus gx plus h minus gx over h. The first, the first part is the derivative of f. The second is the derivative of g. So that is the derivative of f plus or minus g as the derivative of g. 
as the addition and subtraction. The third one, that is the multiplications. Multiplication. fx multiplied by gx and takes the derivative. Use the definition that is fx plus h times gx plus h minus fx gx over h. But now we don't know what 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 uh, how how to substitute this. But we use the trick that add add term and minus a term. The same, the same term, fx plus h times gx plus h minus fx times gx plus h. We add this term, and we need uh, uh, subtract this term. We need to add this the same term to cancel it. Then minus fx gx. Gx. Sorry. Over h. Okay. Uh, then we subtract in two terms. The the first two term, uh, the first two terms have the common factor gx plus h. At x plus h minus fx over h times gx plus h plus the second term have the common factor fx minus gx plus h minus gx over h. For the first term, this part is the derivative of f, and this part tends to approaches to gx because a h tends to zero. So the first part is the derivative of f times gx. The second term is fx times the derivative of gx. As the product rule. And for quotient rule, fx over gx, the derivative of fx over gx, that is limit h tends to 0, that is fx plus h over gx plus h minus fx over gx over h. That equals limit h tends to zero. Uh, there's uh, uh, two fractions in the denominator. We use the common uh, uh, in the denominator. The denominator has two terms, two fractions. So we use the common denominator to simplify the denominator. That is fx plus h minus gx uh, times gx times gx minus fx times gx plus h the denominator tends to gx plus h times gx over h We simplify that is h times gx plus h times gx. That is fx plus h times gx. We use the same trick as before. We add the add a term and uh, uh, subtract the same term. First, we minus fx times gx. Then we plus fx times gx. 
then minus fx gx plus h. The first first two term we separate h tends to zero. H that's f x plus h times uh times um, first as minus uh, minus f x then this the common factor as g x times one over d x plus h times g x and uh, the second the uh, the second part, the last two terms have a common factor fx. Uh, that is fx. I should plus fx. That is uh, gx minus gx plus h over h. There's gx plus h times gx, one over this part. Okay. That's the whole part. Okay, now the first part this part we can take the g to here we can take g we can write gx here now the first part uh, this part is the derivative of our f so that is the derivative of f times gx and when x ten, uh, h tends to 0 uh, the denominator in this part is g as g is x squared the second part this part is the derivative of g so that is uh, the negative de de negative derivative so that is a negative fx times gx derivative and there is gx square here so that that's the uh, quotient rule that's the quotient rule uh, use these rules we can compute some derivative and uh, some derivative of our functions uh, okay uh, we now let, let's uh, Take some examples. The first example that is uh, suppose f x equals two x cube minus five x square plus three x minus seven. Find the derivative of f. Solution is the derivative of f that is 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 7. Then take the derivative that's actually 2x cubed derivative minus 5x squared derivative plus 3x the derivative minus 7 the derivative. Uh, the constant can be taken outside. Minus uh, the, the derivative of just uh, 7, that's constant. The derivative of a constant, that is 0. The x cube, the derivative of x cube, that is 3x square. The derivative of x square, that is 2x. The derivative of x, that is 1. 
So that's equal 6x squared minus 10x plus 3. That's the first example. The second example that is uh, if fx is x cubed plus 4 cosine x minus sine pi over 2, find the derivative of fx and uh, the derivative where at pi over 2. The solution is the fx derivative that is x cubed plus 4 cosine x minus sine pi over 2. The derivative that is x cubed derivative of x cubed plus 4 the derivative of cosine x minus the derivative of sine pi over 2. The derivative of x cubed that is 3x squared. The derivative of cosine x that is negative sine x. So negative or minus 4 sine x. The what is derivative of sine pi over 2? is actually not cosine pi over 2. It's just 0. Why? There's pi over 2. Sine pi over 2 is a constant. We don't need to know what, what the constant it is, but we know that it's constant because there's no x here. So it's constant. The, con the derivative of our constant is 0. So that is 3x squared minus 4 sine x. After we find the derivative of f of f, so we only need to uh, insert the value of pi over 2 into the derivative. That is 3 times, times pi over 2 squared minus 4 sine pi over 2. So here is pi square, 3 pi square over 4 minus 4. Sine pi over 2 is actually 1. The third example, that is y equals e of x times sine x plus cosine x. And the derivative of y. Solution is first we we know that this function is a multiplication of two functions. Every bracket can view can regard it as one function. So that's a fir uh, first we need to use the product rule. The bracket and regard it as a whole, as a as a function. So first we use uh, the product rule. The first the derivative of first function times the second function, and plus the first function times the derivative of second function. E of x. The derivative of e of x is just itself plus e x. Now, the derivative of this bracket, we can use the uh, uh, rules of subtraction, uh, the, the addition, because that's two function add together. The the then. We just needed to take the derivative of our both function and add it together. The first uh, function, sine x, the derivative of sine x, that is cosine x. So 
derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So add together that uh, that is 2ex of cosine x. That's the product rule. If y equals 1 plus sine x over 1 plus cosine x, how to find the y derivative? No, that's not. That's y. This is quotient rule. The quotient rule. The quotient rule, the derivative of a uh, division division function, uh, division of two functions. That is, uh, the square of the denominator, and then the denominator is the derivative of denominator times the denominator minus the denominator times the derivative of the denominator. One plus cosine x square in the denominator. One plus sine x. Derivative of one plus sine x that just cosine x and one plus cosine x minus 1 plus sine x and then 1 plus cosine x the derivative of 1 cos plus cosine x the derivative of 1 is 0 the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x so that equals cosine x plus cosine x uh, there's minus negative, so that is plus sine x, no, that's square, plus sine x square, 1 plus cosine x square. No, that's not here. That is the cosine x square plus sine x square, that is 1, that's 1 plus sine x plus cosine x that's 1 plus cosine x square this is the quotient rule at last we derive more formula a uh, basic formula of derivative uh, find y derivative. The first is y equals tangent x. The second is y equals cotangent x. The third one is y equals secant x. The last one is y equals cosecant x. Solution is the first y derivative is tangent x derivative. We 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 don't have the formula for tangent x, but we know that any other trigonometric functions can be represented by sine x and cosine x. So tangent x is sine x over cosine x. Then take the derivative. Use the quotient rule. The cosine x square in the denominator and sine x uh, derivative times cosine x minus sine x times cosine x derivative that is sine x the derivative is cosine x times cosine x that is cosine x square sine x uh, 
times cosine and derivative of cosine x. Cosine x derivative, the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So we plus sine x squared, cosine x squared. Cosine x squared plus sine x squared equals 1. That's 1 over cosine x squared. But we know that 1 over cosine x is secant x. So that is secant x squared. The second y derivative of cotangent x squared. Use the same trick. That is cosine x over sine x. They take derivative. Then use the quotient rule. That is sine x squared. That's cosine x derivative times sine x minus cosine x times the derivative of sine x that is negative sine x square minus cosine x square over sine x square that is negative 1 over sine x square that is negative cosecant x square and the third one y derivative of secant x as 1 over cosine x derivative that is cosine x squared the derivative of 1 times cosine x minus 1 times 1 times the derivative of cosine x the derivative of 1 is 0, so that is cosine x, uh, the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x, so that is sine x over cosine x squared. We separate sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x. The first part is tangent x, the second part is secant x. And the last one, cosecant x, the derivative of cosecant x. I will just write down the, the result. Result is negative cotangent x times cosecant x. Uh, those four result uh, can be used as basic formula. So we have more, uh, four more formula. The first one is tangent x. The derivative of tangent x is secant x squared. The derivative of cotangent x, that is negative cosecant x squared. The third one is secant x derivative derivative of secant x that is tangent x times secant x and uh, cosecant x derivative that is negative cosecant x times co oh, right cotangent x first negative cotangent x times cosecant x we can use this formula as a basic formula in the, fo in the fo following classes. Okay, now we have a basic formula for a power function, a trigonometric function, a exponential function, and logarithm function. Uh, we uh, have more uh, uh, differentiation rules and to to compute uh, more uh, the, the derivative of more functions next next video we can uh, we derive the chain rule 
then uh, use the chain rules and the uh, use the chain rule and uh, uh, the uh, product rule, quotient rule, and uh, uh, addition rules, addition subtraction rule. Use those rules, we can compute most of uh, the, the compute the derivative of all most functions. Okay, this part we can stop here.